What is up guys, Cajun here, and it's been a minute. It's been, uh, it's been about a week uh, since my last video, I apologize for that. Uh, I know I said I was going to make one Monday, but I kind of, there's, there's really nothing to talk about in terms of the critical ops community. Um, and you know, nothing really to talk about me, wise. But I have some news uh, in in both aspects now. So uh, let's let's review <laughs> what's taking place. So I'm back home for the summer. Um, I'm gonna be here for about three months. So the streaming content's gonna be a little bit scarce, um, just like it was. Uh, it it kind of sucks being away from from college. I know it, it kind of doesn't seem like it because I always complain, but like, I just, I don't know, I just miss my friends to be honest. I wish I could still be up there, low key. Uh, also high key because internet is great up there. Um, people say college internet sucks, but it, it, come down here for the weekend and uh, and you'll see that it, it it's fucking terrible here. I retweeted a tweet that someone made uh, just daily reminded that vision communication sucks. And let me go do a speed test right now. Let me do a speed test on my Wi-Fi right now. And um, it, it's going to be great. It's just going to be swell. Swell, swell, swell. All right. Speed test, and I'll even do it on speedtest.net instead of the Google one. And here we go. All right. So, do I really have to do it on my mobile phone? I really don't want to. Can I just do desktop app and go? I can. All right. So, connecting in Marangoon, Louisiana. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Um, the ping is crazy. Alright, so download. We have a pretty good download speed. 30. 30 oh, it's going to 40? What the hell? Our download is fucking amazing. Our upload, on the other hand... Okay, it's for, it says 46 download. Upload? 1... Two, it, it's at the one to two range. Let me just do Google's, um, because I could do that a lot faster, and I kind of trust it a little bit more, because I won't be in desktop mode. Okay, really, just let me, let me do it. Let me do the thing. Speed test. No, not dot net. Just speed test. Oh my, hello, I'm not on the desktop site anymore. Okay, you really, you really wanna, you really wanna. Can this work? Fifth time's the charm. No, it doesn't. Hold up. Alright, finally. Also, I apologize for the, uh, the fan in the background. We don't have ceiling fans in this house, so you gotta deal with it. Um, alright, so run speed test on Google. Contacting server, testing download. Have a pretty great download. It's at 37, 38. Can we get to 40? We are at 40. I repeat, we're at 40. So we have a really great download speed. 41.7, it says. Upload. It jumps to 7 at the start. Now it's at about 2. It's staying at 2. And it's just progressively going down. So 22 ping, 41.7 download, 1.61 upload. Usually, usually, and it says my internet speed is fast, but that is bullshit. Usually, ISPs give you the same up and same down. Vision Communications, on the other hand, gives you shit upload, but great download. And it just goes out all the time. But... That's beside the point. I won't be able to stream on Wi-Fi, so I have to watch out about data. 
because the data is unlimited in quotes but once you get to like over 60 gigs of data it starts slowing down so it's not unlimited but anyway so yeah streams will be scarce um, and I say that because I just tried to stream and my phone was lagging disconnected um, but I have some great news um, so I'm gonna be working at Burger King over the summer again of course um, and I finished you know my application and everything and my onboarding process um, getting yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm getting a little bit more money. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a little bit more money. Um, not too too much, but uh, just a little bit to help with college and all. Um, but I finished the onboarding processes and stuff, and my dad was like, "Since you you know now have a job, uh, I'll order you a phone." And so we found a Galaxy S nine. S nine. For as much as my parents found their S8s. So that was, it was a little under $300, which is great for a Galaxy S9. Like, that's basically a steal. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna have an S9. Hope, it, it says it's refurbished. Let me go on the page real quick and read all the specifications and stuff like that. Um,. So it is, it's going to be a blue Samsung Galaxy, a blue Samsung Galaxy, 64 gig, 64 gig, I think I have like 16 gigs on my phone, or 32, something like that, um, so 64 gigs, where's the, uh, where's the, about this item, so, 12 megapixel camera. Um, I think it's Android Pie. 64 gig storage capacity. Um, data capable and everything. 4 gigs of RAM. 5.8 inch screen. Yeah, it's it's great. Great. I mean, I'm I'm excited to uh, to get this phone get the two extra gigs of RAM um, because right now I have I have two gigs of RAM and that is terrible terrible like right now just with no apps open no apps open, except voice recorder and the device system okay critical apps is still open and now my phone's frozen again. Sick. I love this phone. I can't wait until Friday. Can't wait until Friday. But anyway, let me continue. Uh, but yeah, I'm using 1.5 gigs of RAM. With just that. So, yeah, it's great. It's swell. Um, but yeah, so that's good news. Again, working at Burger King. Hmm. I'm excited, I guess. Like I said, I'm getting paid a tad more than I was before. So that'll be good. But at the same time, it's like I really don't want to work there because it is just a toxic environment a lot of the time. And it's just, it, it makes me like really just dead inside. But I'm excited, I guess. More money. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now on the Sea Ops news. Uh, Polar Ace, and that name may sound familiar to some of you because for those that have been here for a while, I've been on Polar Ace twice. Once when I was on MCR and we got picked up by Polar Ace after the ESL open league thing we got to playoffs and they picked us up um unfortunately we didn't or we thought we could do like daily practice and stuff like that and we just couldn't and they understood you know they 
you know, we, we just weren't ready when we, when we thought we were. And they understood. You know, they let us go. We, we You know, we were fine. Um, and then they picked up another team a couple months later. And um, one of the members was part of the team that had gotten picked up. But he left right before we got picked up by Polar Ace. Uh, cheeseburger. He used to be in D2R. He DM'd me and he was like, yo, you know, I know you're a pretty good player. Uh, even if you're on Android, you're a pretty good player. Do you want to come try out for Polar Ace again? And I was like, dude, yeah, sure, definitely. Uh, and so I tried out, and a day later, uh, the team got kicked um, for being toxic or something like that. It was weird. I don't know what really happened. Um, but I just knew I was I didn't have a team anymore, and that's when I kind of started to not really care about competitive as much anymore. And that's when I started to focus on YouTube and streaming. And you know, look where we are now. We're almost at 640 subs. It's crazy. The update videos get me tons of views, and for those that stick around for the regular videos like this, I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, but yeah, the update videos have just man they've been killing it they have been destroying everything and i'm really thankful for that um and yeah it's just a really awesome thing to happen but um polar ace is an organization an esports organization and they've started hosting tournaments for certain games they hosted a brawl star tournament uh, a couple months back, um, and now they're hosting a Critical Ops tournament, 64 team tournament, which is crazy, um, 32 teams from North America, 32 from the EU, and, uh, they dropped Asia, I think the Asian teams are signing up under EU now, I don't know about Brazilian teams, I guess they'll sign up under NA, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. 32 teams in each region, that's a huge tournament. Um, and Polar Ace is putting a prize pool from their pockets. And I think Polar Ace is, is doing something really no one wants to or is capable of doing. And that's, or, except for Legacy. Legacy has a league going right now. He's putting his own money into that. That's great. You know, Legacy got the Team Liquid tournament for us. Um, but I don't think. You know, other than him, I don't think anyone is willing to host tournaments and put their own money on the line um, and, and put their own money in for tournaments and stuff. I know I'm not because I don't make money, at least during the school year. Uh, and so I really can't. But at the same time, if I could, I definitely would want to try because, you know, I want to keep the comp scene alive. I want to see it flourish. Um, so yeah, that's that, Polar Ace. I think all the spots are full. If you're an EU team, I think there's still a couple spots. Um, but NA is completely full. So, yeah, discord.gg slash Polar Ace if you want to do that. Um, I'm not really affiliated with the tournament, I just wanted to spread the word. I'm going to mod a and host a couple rooms for the tournament. If I have the time, um, but other than that, there really isn't anything, you know, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything, not signed by them, uh, and yeah, um, so yeah, uh, other than that, you know, this is almost a 15 minute video, so I'll let you guys go, um, I have a topic for a Let's Talk video, uh, you'll have to see what it is on Monday. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.